do you want to make seven hundred to a thousand dollars a week? Do you, bro? No, no. <laughs> what are you shaking for, buddy? You don't want to make seven hundred to a thousand dollars a week? No. Wow, what a shame, buddy. What a shame. Can we relate? Ooh, yeah. Can we debate? Ooh, yeah. But I want debate. Ooh, yeah. I talk to Kate. Yeah, ay. All about Kate. Yeah, ay. Can we relate? Uh, uh, can we relate? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! Sanitize. Corona. Hey, man. You see it? 700, 1,000, 1,400 a week. With ease, it's your boy. Okay, Rick. Double K fan, double K gang. If you're not a part of that, hit that subscribe button down below. Come by for a party, gang. Now, look, man. Um, first Uber Eats video. Uh, shout out to Uber Eats if they watch this video. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you do Uber Eats, shout out to you. And you know what I'm saying? We're going to do a lot of more shout outs as this video goes on, but. Yes, 700, 1,000 a week if, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of ifs and like, ah, ah, but all you need is a a car, a somewhat decent car that can make it, you know, thousands of miles. Um, you live in a, a like, where I live in Houston, Texas, a big city, everybody damn near owns a house, apartment, you know what I'm saying, and there's just too many food places to think of that partner with Uber Eats, you feel what I'm saying? Now... I have like three, three, three to four different incomes, so this is one of them, you know what I'm saying? And this is like, and I love driving my car. Like, I, most of you guys know I drive a Scion FRS GT86 BRZ, and I've already put a lot of miles on the car, and I'm getting a new car, and that's gonna, probably going to be in the next vlog, next video I'm getting. Um, yeah, most of you guys already know I'm taking delivery of a 2020, or it's probably a 2021 Supra. I'm pretty sure it's the 21, but uh, another big in time investment in sports car for the channel um i'm gonna start doing a lot of car videos but yeah so been making about seven about my last one was a thousand i can pull it up for you guys so basically i'm gonna take you guys on some uber eats trips today show you how you guys can make 700 to 1400 a week with ease you know what i'm saying if you got a, you know people that drive toyota people that drive a, just a regular good car you live in a nice big city and you know what I'm saying, sign up for Uber Eats, you know what I'm saying. And what I'm telling you guys, I make the most money really off tips. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pull it up for you guys, show you guys how much I make a week, how much I made last week, and how much I could have made, you know what I'm saying, and explain to you guys that really I was slacking, you know what I'm saying. But I'm gonna show you guys how the app works. And so first I'm gonna do the uh I'm gonna show you guys how much I made this last uh this last, we're gonna just do last week. I think last week wasn't, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't the best. So we're gonna go weekly summary. Like this week so far, I've already made 200 bucks, you know what I'm saying, in like two days. I've been slacking, yesterday I was busy, you know what I'm saying, I was slacking doing YouTube videos and stuff. But, I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now, my stats, July 20th to the 27th. I'm gonna put it, uh, I'm putting the, uh, the screen, the screenshot will be right here. Now as you can look, through the 20 through the 27 i made a thousand dollars you know what i'm saying with ease you know what i'm saying and i and i worked online for 54 hours you know what i'm saying and it basically add up you feel me now really i was slacking i really could have worked about 60 some close to 70 and made about 1400 1200 with ease you know what i'm saying but breaking it down bro breaking it down basically if you look I made 500 uber paid me exactly 500 so without the tips and the promotions and all the other stuff that kicked in i only would have made 500 bucks is it worth it nah nah but this is where it kicks in bro the tips and all the good people i meet the people i make happy the people that get their food the people that i go to their rich mansions and and the, the, the goodest neighborhoods and you know what i'm saying people's apartments and people that don't want to leave the house and Corona's out, you know what I'm saying? And 
making people happy is one reason why I do this too. You know what I'm saying? Not only because I get to you know ride around in my sports car and and and, and have a good time, but you know what I'm saying? Getting people food safely, good condition, good quality, hot and ready. Or they got cold drinks, you know what I'm saying? Just having people's food taken care of and getting them to them perfectly is what I like to do, man. Just seeing people smile, meeting new people, you know what I'm saying? It's amazing, you know what I'm saying? But breaking it down, I made five, almost five, four, 540 in tips. You know what I'm saying? 540 in tips. So you add that up, that's $1,000, you know what I'm saying? Now, this was a slow, it was a slack. Like, look, third, if you go to Thursday on the 23rd, I didn't work at all. You know what I'm saying? Wednesday, I didn't work really. Um, Saturday, I didn't really work. Monday, I remember, so it was just, you know, both, you see how I went go up, down, up, like, basically, you choose when you get to, you know, basically make money, work, and you do it at your convenience, your time, when you want to, I like to get up at 8 o'clock, well, not 8 o'clock, 6 o'clock, I walk my dog at 6, and I'm like 6.30 to 6.40, I'm leaving the house, going to knock out, you know, I get a lot of Starbucks orders, a lot of morning orders, breakfast orders, I hop, um, What's one of the places? Um, Black Bear Dinner. Like, a lot of, like, you know, McDonald's. I might do a couple McDonald's. It, it depends. Like, as long as it's not busy. And I'm going I'm to show you guys tips and tricks how to, like, you know, make the most money out of your day. You know what I'm saying? Some orders, you can't accept every order. It's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to accept the right orders. You know what I'm saying? If it's, you know, a 10-minute order three for $3, you know what I'm saying? It's just down the street. Maybe you're headed to that place, then go. Why not knock it out? You know what I'm saying. That's how I think about it. You know what I'm saying. And if I'm going to, there's certain areas that I that I go in that I love to go into my city where I know people are gonna give good tips. People are gonna, you know what I'm saying, give you. You know what I'm saying. It's gonna be the best situation for you. You know what I'm saying. That's why I accept certain orders in different areas. Like one. One area in where I live is going to Richmond. If I get an order that sends me all the way to Richmond, that's like 25, that's like a 25, 30 minute drive. But I'm gonna take that drive because I'm already getting paid like $8 to go do the delivery. And then on top of that, most likely I'm gonna get a 15 to $20 tip. Now, looking at, like I said, like basically, some I average about, if I do like 20 deliveries, out of those 20 deliveries, I'm gonna get like, Five, five, seven, five to seven of those tips are going to be over twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Just because, you know what I'm saying? I give great service, um, and I chose the, I chose the cert, those certain areas to go to, to drive to. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the orders you accept. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes down to it. But uh, yeah, so I just showed you guys how how, how I made you know an easy thousand last week. You know what I'm saying? Driving in my sports car, and I'm going to show you guys the car I do drive in. But you guys that are new to the channel don't know. This is my first baby, and I'm going to have the second baby on the channel really soon. So I'm going to show you guys the car I drive. Um, sitting about almost 80,000 miles. You know what I'm saying? This car is wonderful. And, you know, God bless me with it. Paid, It's paid off. Everything's paid off. So I'm going to show you guys the car, and then we'll, I'm going to show you guys, you know, the delivery process. And, I mean, the uh, the, deliver, the delivery. Yeah, what did I just say? The, the, am I drunk? Yeah, hey, Rick, are you drunk? Are you drinking and driving, Rick? But look, I'm going to show you guys basically how it goes down, how to, you know what I'm saying, get the order, take the order. And when you show up, you know what I'm saying, it's already paid for. All you got to do is get it, deliver it, and you know what I'm saying, and how you how you how how to basically manage Uber Eats and how to make money, you know what I'm saying, driving your car. And yeah, so let's get right into it. I'm going to show you guys the car, then we're going to get right into the delivery process. And ah! have a hoodie on and it's 100 degrees but we're gonna get right into the delivery process how it goes down what to do how how to you know what I'm saying I'm gonna show you guys how to how to make this money out your car you know what I'm saying how to you know give good customer service to people and how to you know you know how things go down in here um so basically you gotta have a mask uh we're gonna get right into the app um as zero dollars today um it's 10 o'clock right now so I'm gonna have another slow slack day I'm not gonna make the most money today because I didn't start at seven o'clock but I'm going to start the recording, right? Where the recording started, I usually keep one of these uh, mounts on my windshield so the phone can sit and I can, you know, easily, easily, um, you know, drive without looking down or not. Because I did get into a car crash in this car like two weeks ago. Uh, that I will be doing a video about that and how much I paid and, you know, what I had to do because I looked down and, 
I wasn't paying attention and you know scraped my bumper and stuff. But anyways, uh click go click go on when you're when you uh signed up and everything goes through you get background checked they do background checks and all that stuff your social security card number uh, all that stuff so you got to have insurance for your car you got to take a picture of your blue sticker on your car you know what i'm saying all that good stuff you know so they're going to look at make sure it's verified and once you get verified the email will be sent to you and the apple uh, uh notif notify you and then you click go online Click and go online, go on. It should be popped up right here, and then it says confirm COVID, COVID nineteen precautions. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know coronavirus is out. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you click that. I am wearing a face cover mask. You know how that go? Take a picture of yourself. You have to have a mask on. So bam, look, we're gonna take that picture right here. Uh, oh, we got that picture. We got that picture. Okay, thanks. Thanks for verifying. Bam, we're good. I won't drive COVID-19 or related. I will not have COVID-19 or any related symptoms. I do not have any symptoms. So, bam, I click it. I disinfect my vehicle. Um, I got the, the, the lights on in the back. But all that stuff, I disinfect my vehicle. Bam. I wash and sanitize my hands. Bam. And I also keep a box of gloves when I'm here. When I, I won't put the gloves on when I go to the store and pick up the delivery. Uh, I will put the gloves on. But uh, ready to drive. You know what I'm saying? Bam. Click go. You hear, it's supposed to make a noise. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna tell my go offline, and then uh, we're gonna connect it to the car, and then bam! When you hear that noise right there, you are online. You are gonna accept an order. Now I'm going to mount it onto this thing, so I can take any. Is that a squirrel? So I can take the order. You know what I'm saying? Take the order and, you know, I'm basically going to show you guys, basically, you know what I'm saying? I, got, I, got, I, got, uh, I don't make fun of me because it's pink, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that like pink, but that's my, it was my mom's, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to go get a new one. I had one right here, but it don't work. Like this, this one right here, the magnet one, you know what I'm saying? It don't work, though, you know what I'm saying? Now, whoever made that needs to get fired. But basically, when I have an order, I'm going to come back to you guys and show you guys how it goes down. But, yeah. That's one thing. Um, when you gotta, like I say, you gotta go. You gotta know your your city. You gotta know your area. You gotta know what's the busiest. Like, well, who got who? You know what I'm saying? Where are you gonna make the most money at? You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you gotta just take it for the team and just do the delivery just to knock it out. It won't be that long, and you may, most likely you'll meet somebody really nice. You know what I'm saying? I have yet to come into a bad, I think I've only had one bad order where the guy was brand new to the U.S. And he did not know what he was doing, what he, you know what I'm saying, where he was. And he didn't put any instructions on here. Usually everybody I've come across or everything like that have instructions, have, you know, perfect. If I got to go, you know, to any kind of area that's not like a house or an apartment. And most likely they'll they get a, a notification when you're arriving and they'll actually meet you before you even get to the spot you know what i'm saying but we're finna get an order pretty soon i'm going to the busiest area i'm gonna show you guys how it goes down and yeah ah 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 it is not hard man it's really simple i'm in a coupe you know what i'm saying sports car and we're just knocking them out man making sure everybody gets their food on time in the right conditions you know what I'm saying? It's good. You know what do you what do you like? What do you what is one of the things you like in this in this world, and that you need in this world? Food. You need your food, baby. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Leave a like. You know what I'm saying? We need to get this video to at least 100 likes. You know what I'm saying? If it does the uh, amount of views and numbers, get it to 100 likes. I love you guys. Thank you guys for the support. You know what I'm saying? I'm just showing you guys how to make money. If you have a good car, you live in a nice city, a big city. And, you know, it's a busy area. There's a lot of food places. And, you know what I'm saying, you want to make extra cash on the side. You know what I'm saying? You can even pay your car note off for, you know what I'm saying, your your monthly payment for your apartment off, you know what I'm saying, or whatever you're doing, you know, with, with doing Uber Eats. And shout out to Uber Eats. And they have a lot of benefits, you know what I'm saying, like all kind of benefits that go into this. I'm already, I'm a Diamond uh, Pro member. I have over almost 400 deliveries. And I have 1,100,000, I mean, 11, basically over 1,000 you know what I'm saying? Uber points. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not hard. Let's knock him out. I'm going to show you guys his first delivery, how it goes down. And, yeah, let's get right into it. Man. Can you guys see it? 
We have a six, a 20 minute order for six bucks and 20 cents. We are going to accept it. You know what I'm saying? I uh, hope you guys can see it. Can you guys see it? Can you guys see it? Okay, we are in route. And basically, bam, we're on route to do our first delivery of the day. We got a, uh, a Asian place for Cass. So we're going to make this U-turny. Keep right using the upcoming right lane. Okay, thank you, buddy. Uh, where I live, I can make, I average, can, you know, $250 to $300 a day and $100 with ease. So I can make $700 with ease, you know what I'm saying? But in my city, twelve four, right lane, keep right. Fourteen hundred is so simple, you know what I'm saying? But let's get to this delivery. To head, keep and I'm right gonna show you guys you know, using the upcoming right lane. Yeah, she talks she even talks to me while the music is she turns the music down there. In the right lane, keep right onto you know highway ninety eight. Thank you, thank you. But you guys see how it goes really, you know, it's simple, you know what I'm saying? Very simple, bro. Nothing hard, you know what I'm saying? And it's you know, I ride around in my car. Okay, we are arriving to the pickup and it's over there. You know what I'm saying? Now, some places, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you gotta make the best decisions. Um, if it's a pick, one of these little restaurants, like like on a little corridor, you gotta go inside and pick up the order, which is what I'm finna do. And then like, sometimes I get an order from like a Taco Bell that's not busy at all, then I'll go through the drive-thru, you know what I'm saying? Like a Taco Bell over there, I'll go through the drive-thru. Or if I go, if I get a McDonald's order and there's no business at that McDonald's, or I go through the drive-thru, you know what I'm saying? Very simple, you know what I'm saying? Nothing hard at all. Yeah, man, I'm just waiting for these cars to pass. And yeah, we're going to get this uh, delivery, going to get the food. And one thing about me, man, when I get the food, I make sure that it's secure. You know what I'm saying? I just don't drive around with the food. I'm going to show you guys when I get the food. Okay, so we are arriving to Jayla at Asian Biz Bizro. So I guess it's like some kind of Asian restaurant. And I'm going to go in here and get the food. Um, bring. Sometimes I bring my phone, not bring my phone. It depends, though. Like, usually... I, the people I've done so many deliveries. Some stores, some restaurants. Some they when I, as soon as I walk in, they know me. You know what I'm saying? They know I'm out here. To, you know, because sometimes I think you're trying to steal food, or you know, since you know all kind of stuff like that. So, but they know me, and they I come in there, tell them the name, and I walk straight out with the food. But some places I have I don't usually go to, or you know, new places, new food places. I bring the phone just to show them the code or the order, and all that. You know what I'm saying? But some places require that you bring the phone in and show the order. And that's usually what I do. I bring the phone just in case, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes I just go in there and get the food and get to my delivery. But let's go get this food and I'll be right back with you guys. Ah! Okay, we are back with the orders right here, nice and tight. They wanted chicken, chicken fried rice. And I, like I said, keep all my orders locked in tight to make sure no spills, nothing, all, all that. And I might invest into like a little, you know, a little bag, that strap, that handle bag that, that keeps the stuff cold and stuff. But... I keep all the stuff strapped down in this seat right here or in the back seat, you know, just for the sake of the customers and, you know, gets a good set. Like I have a 98%, uh, I'm going to have a 99% satisfaction uh, rate. Um, two items did get damaged like a month ago, but that was, that was my fault. You know what I'm saying? That was, I, I, but, or I think one of them were just, they were discriminating because I'm, you know, the skin color, but cause the lady was talking, was really rude, but I've only had like that one time. Everybody else I've met have been really nice. And basically, you come here, and I have, I just received the order, so I click the order, click, and look, bam, start delivery, I slide it, and then if you go to the, you turn that Drake off, that's that new Drake right there, and then navigate, press that button right there. So once I press navigate, um, it shows me how long the delivery is, 10 miles. That's basically why I get, you know, like six, seven dollars for this delivery. 10 miles 14 minutes and it talks to me and basically it shows you where i'm going i'm going to uh a location and basically they want me to wait in car so they're going to come to me as soon as they see me arriving so it's going to be very simple very easy let's get to it and yeah not hard at all and then i think after this i'm gonna show you guys how much i've made in a day how much i can make in a day or you know just show how much i made in today's you know today you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's very simple, man. You can make 700 to a thousand to four fourteen hundred dollars you know, just depending on your grind, your city, where you're located. And, you know what I'm saying? Some people, you know, got freaking degrees, not even making that much, you know what I'm saying, a day or even a, a, a week. So it's not hard, man. And it's just about being, me with the right, the right custom, the good, pro providing a good, the right turn. okay. And, you know what I'm saying? Just 
having a good customer service, you know what I'm saying, taking care of people who so are getting to them nice, safe, on time, and you know what I'm saying, just thinking about other people, bro. That's one reason why I do this, is because I like seeing other people happy, and you know what I'm saying, some people, you know, can't, you know, go get their food, you know what I'm saying, so, and why not, and it's raining too, but yeah, so I'll be back with you guys after it's delivered, and yeah, not hard at all, man. And see, when you have situations like this, to all the people that tip, the people that tip, man. If you tip and you and you get your food delivered through Uber, DoorDash, Postmates, big love to you. Shout out to you that tip people that come. Like, like basically, when I do this delivery, most likely 90% of the chance I'm going to get a tip. You know what I'm saying? But to the people that that give good tips, man, thank you so much because. You know what I'm saying? This is a lot of rain, but yeah. Like I say, bro, I'm I look also. I'm I'm all about the customers, bro. I'm all about the customers. He I'm, I, he didn't have to meet me. I ran him and met him. You know what I'm saying? But just like that, bro. That delivery is over with. It's raining hard. You click delivered, and bam, the money shall pop up right there very soon. I'm gonna just wait for it to pop up. I, I would scream record, but you know. This is way easier. It is raining. I don't know if I'm gonna just wait till the rain kind of chills on before I leave this area, but it is bad, dude. So bad. So basically, I'm just waiting for the, the thing to hit. Usually, it, it automatically hits right after you make the delivery. But sometimes it takes a minute. Bam. Last delivery trip, $6.24. I got three points. And bam, that easy, man. And most likely he's gonna give me a probably for the rain he might give me a a 15 20 tip but usually tips are like average about five three to five to eight dollars and then like i say if you get them really good orders and if it's a, usually a big meal too expect a ten dollar eleven dollar fifteen dollar tips you know what i'm saying every day like i say i average about four to three even five twenty dollar tips sometimes seven you know what I'm saying? And that all adds up, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the first. The customers come first, bro. The people that ordered it come first, bro. That's one thing you got to realize doing this. And like I say, it's not hard at all. And you know what I'm saying? Driving a little, you know, this little sports car around and making easy cash. And then, like I say, in conditions like this, I really wish it, I wish I would have drove the Forerunner. Uh, like I said, at home we have a Forerunner that really nobody uses. Like my mom's car, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it just be there. So I usually take the Forerunner, but hey easy six dollars so basically i'm gonna when the next time you guys see me i'm gonna come back to what show you how much i made in my area basically um next to my house and my highway and how much i made you know what i'm saying usually i, I travel out you know the farthest i go out to a place is about my longest delivery was about an hour not even an hour like 50 minutes i usually don't go that far from where i'm from but it's very simple i get a lot of orders in my area and it continues, man. As soon as I get done with the next order, the, or the next order is already popping up for me to accept. So I'm gonna show you guys how much I made in a day, and then I'll be the, like really the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want more Uber Eats videos, and you know, basically just showing you guys how to make a little extra money. You know what I'm saying? That are really, and it's actually a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? For some of you guys, you know, it's a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? And it adds up. Money, like I said, you saving your money, it adds up. Investing your money, it adds up, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do about this rain situation and uh catch you guys when I'm you know done with the day. Ah! Ah, ooh, I'm back. Now you're probably like Rick, what are you the day's over with? What happened? How much did you make today? Uh last time you guys saw me I was delivering food in the rain. Um for the start, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, like I said, after that, and I had that that, that guy's order where I drew, dropped off like that, like that Asian. He ordered like some chicken fried rice, I think it was, and I ran into his job in the rain so that he wouldn't get wet and his food and nothing got wet, so that he can, you know what I'm saying? Because one thing about me, customers come first, and come to find out, I, that man ain't give me not one tip. 
I got six six dollars to go out there, and it wasn't that far. It was kind of far, but not really. It was it actually it kind of was far. And he didn't give me no tip out of the off of four. I've done over like four hundred deliveries. I have a ninety eight satisfaction rate. People love me. I have great communication. I have great all over the board on my Uber profile, and I got no tip. Like not even three dollars. Uh, the average person on uh, get that does that uh that um tips on Uber like if you're ordering food on Uber, the uh, you're gonna get at least at least a a two to three dollar tip. But I averaged five dollars plus ten dollars plus. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I averaged like seven dollar tip. I mean twenty seven dollar tips every day. That man didn't give me not one penny. So guess what I did? I went back home with the sleep. Got me some Chinese food, went to sleep, and 10 to 5 o'clock, I did not get no hours in. So basically, I slept through it, through the good the good hours, you know what I'm saying? The good, easy knockout hours, like 7 through, like I said, I usually wake up at 7 and knock them out to like 11, 12, 1-ish, and I make over like $140, $50 with ease. But, I'm going to put on the screen how much I made, just basically going out at like 5 o'clock, and ended at like, I think I, it was like 5 to 9, 5 to 10 ish. Bam! Now, if you look at this screenshot, I made $100 today. And 25 a lady gave me a $25 t uh, tip because I went out and she wanted drinks. And I went to a store and got her the drink she wanted. You know what I'm saying? Even though I was on the tracking, uh, on the GPS to go to her house. She wanted me to stop at places and get her drinks. And exactly as I, like I say, for me, the customer comes first. I went to the store. Well, she didn't even tell me the store. She, you know, basically she just wanted drinks. And basically I had to find those drinks. And I went and found those drinks and I gave it to her. And she said, you know what? Thank you so much. You get a good rating from me and you get a $25 tip. But if you look at these stats, 100 bucks, And I didn't even look. I did really, and it says six hours on there. I really worked four hours. Six is just because I keep the thing on when I'm going back to certain locations and I'm still declining. Like I say, Uber is, you got to be smart. You can't accept everything. If I'm going to a certain location and am I, am I going there, I don't accept that order. Usually I try to accept orders where I'm headed or where I want to go back to or if it's in a good, nice area where I know the tips are going to be amazing. I know the people in the environment is going to be amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's some places in my, like, my city's big, and I have some places I kind of want to stay away from, you know. But $100, man, overall made $120. But over, really $130 in, like, four hours, bro. Simple. Like I say, I averaged $240, $250. The most I've ever made in one day is $270. If you guys want to see me make $300 in one day, which is... I could have done that day, but I literally clocked out at like 8, bro. And I could have just kept going to like 10, and I would have made 300 in one day. So if you guys want to see that video of me making 300 in one day, comment down below. But like I say, man, uh, to all the people that tip out there, you make us Ubers, you know what I'm saying, day. Yeah, we really count on you guys to tip. And like I say, I make $500 just off Uber alone. I should make five or six hundred in tips, and guess how much that is? A thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? You can make a thousand dollars with ease in like seven days. You know what I'm saying? Really five days. Really, if you're really grinding, grinding four days. You know what I'm saying? Easy thousand dollars. So, um, basically, I'm gonna do more Uber videos. If you guys want to see how how much, you know what I'm saying? The most I can make in one week, which is probably like fourteen, fifteen hundred. Um, we're gonna try to push for that limit. And we'll do that video, and we'll do another video, uh, making trying to make three hundred in one day. So give these Uber videos a good thumbs up. I'm showing you guys how to make extra money. Um, we'll start doing more investment videos, more you know, video. Just every now and then, I'm gonna switch the content up for people that want to know how to make money, at, put money in their bank account. Especially if you guys have a good car in a good city, or you know what I'm saying, you have a lot of free time and you're not really doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Extra money. You know what I'm saying? Like I said. I, four in three to four different incomes so this is one of them and yeah guys um i'm still mad about that guy that did not tip me in the rain like i literally went i literally that like and i literally that's why sometimes when it's raining if i do ubers in the rain 
I like to go into the I like the Uber in the truck, bro, because my car is so low to the ground. Um, it's paid off. Uh, I don't want to lose that car. Um, I love my sports car. You feel me? And that dude did not give me one single cent. Like, baby, you gotta pay for you. I need that. I need that ten. I need. I need a five dollar ten, not twelve dollar tip or something to go to to get my my to get my my Jimmy Johnson wet. If I gotta go outside and get wet for you, and you're not gonna tip, come on, baby, you might as well just go on, go on, go on, get in your car and go ahead and, and get your own food and 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 and, and, and get yourself wet. Cause I had to get wet for that man today. He did not tip me at all. But basically, hundred dollars in like four hours. You guys seen the screenshot? I'm, I think I took it off, but um, I might throw a clip in tomorrow to finish this video off tomorrow. That. Uh, to show you guys how much how easy it is to make at least 250 in one day so tomorrow i'm gonna try to do 250 if not if we if the morning goes really really good then we'll try to do 300 in one day and i might just just upload this video and make it that video separate like i say that 300 in one day video is coming we're gonna try to hit 300 in one day and we're gonna keep dropping these uber videos for the people that you know want to know and all that good stuff so leave a like on today's video subscribe if you are new subscribe if you are new to the double k double k family double k yeah you know come drink water i will slap your grandma wig off your sister wig off your cousin your cousin wig off everybody will get knocked off you know come here drinking water i love you guys i will see you guys in the next video and um remember man the people come first and your grandma come last <laughs>